Samsung has finally made its own internet browser, Samsung Internet, available for Galaxy Watch 4 platform. If you've used any of the previous Galaxy Watches, this browser was available on them as well. So why is this browser so important here on this watch? Well, the reason is quite simple. It allows us to do things and use some features which were previously not possible. And I will talk about them as we go further along in this video. But first, let's take a look at the browser itself and its main features. First things first. You have to download it and for that go to the play store on the watch and search for samsung internet it will show up first in the results and from here you can download it once installed you can find it in the app drawer you are greeted with a very simple interface there is a search button up top and below that we get four bookmarks for youtube Google, Weather, and Samsung.com. If you go in search, there are also options to use DuckDuckGo and Bing as a search engine instead of Google. What's most exciting about this browser is that you can now use it to watch YouTube videos on your Galaxy Watch 4. And the process is made easier by the bookmark that Samsung provides right out of the gate. See, previous Galaxy Watches were running on Tizen OS and the Galaxy Store had several third-party YouTube apps that would allow you to watch YouTube videos on the watch but since galaxy watch 4 is running on wear os platform these apps cannot exist in the play store so there really was no genuine option if you wanted to watch youtube on your watch 4 but this browser changes all that and allows us to do exactly that not in the app form but in the browser form and i guess it was for this purpose that samsung made the controls really easy and straightforward too while on any web page you can swipe in from the corners of the watch to move the web page around and navigate it. And if you want to recenter the page, simply swipe in from the opposite end. Now here you can see that by default, the web page is zoomed in a little bit. So in case you want to view the whole web page at once, you can do that as well. And for that, you have to turn on the zoom option by swiping up from the bottom and turn zoom mode on. Now you can scroll the bezel to zoom in and out. And if you zoom out fully, you will be able to see the whole web page and scroll it by swiping on the display. If you're having a hard time tapping on any options, you can zoom in and use the corner pinch and option to navigate around. Once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy to operate. And of course, you can watch any video that you want, go full screen, change resolution, skip a video, even sign into your account and watch your subscriptions and pretty much do anything that you can do on a desktop. Because this is a full blown browser that shows desktop web pages, it is a bit finicky to control. But if you know what you're going to be using it for, it can be very handy. However, there is one amazing feature that I found missing here as compared to the Samsung browser on Galaxy Watch 3 or any other Tizen OS Galaxy Watch. On Galaxy Watch 3 though, you can set up to 10 bookmarks as live widget and access them very quickly from the widget section. For example, you could bookmark a news website that you read and then select it as a live widget. And then you will be able to access this web page from the widgets without ever going into the browser itself. For some reason, Samsung has not included this feature in Galaxy Watch 4 browser, but hopefully it will be added at some point in the future. Nonetheless, it is a very good addition to the ever-growing arsenal of apps available for Samsung Galaxy Watch and Watch 4 Classic on their OS platform. That's about it from this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, but now I want to hear from you as to whether you will be using this browser or the idea of using a browser and watching YouTube on a watch is too absurd for you. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one, till then take care, bye bye.